As somebody that has become somewhat of a regular visitor to London over the last five years or so, I like to think that I've got staying over in the capital city down to a T. Where's best to stay, where's not, where to avoid on a weekend, where to stay if you need to be in central London, or where to stay if you literally just need a bed for the night. However, what I've never tested is staying in the absolute cheapest that the city has to offer, with no agenda or specific location I need to be in, just the absolute cheapest that comes up on booking.com. So that's exactly what this video is. I wrote my friend and fellow Londoner new into this video, so credit to her for being an absolute star when I suggested doing something so weird. So we rocked up in South Kensington at the hotel Easy Hotel by EasyJet, as in the airline, which I have heard of before but I've never stayed in. It's only about 20 minutes from Central, so it's really not too bad at all. Who's ready to see a bit more? Hello everybody! <laughs> why, why are we the colours that we are? <laughs> It's the lights, it's the dreadful lights. Today I'm with New and we are staying in London's cheapest hotel. Basically, I knew that I was coming down to London tonight and I was like, you know what, I can tie this into another kind of video where I test out London's most affordable, cheapest budget hotel that is not a hostel, before I get comments, because we could have stayed in a hostel, that would have been cheaper, but. Or at my flat. Or at your flat, free. which would have been free, but that's not the point of this video. We are staying in Easy Hotel, is that what it's called? Yeah. I kept wanting to call it Easy Jet Hotel. Easyhotel.com. Easyhotel.com in Kensington to be specific because this one and the one in Victoria, yes, Victoria, Victoria. Yeah, were both the exact same price and I will put that price the screenshot on screen which is actually so cheap for central London for two people like I paid exactly £40 before the booking fee so that would be £20 each which is so a cheap bargain. yeah so for reference I quite often stay in central London and I would usually pay around £70 for like a room for myself just for the night how much would your train ticket here? Um, 64. So, there yeah, you there you go. That's like three trains really in it. However, before you make any judgments and you're like, wow, that's so cheap, I'll book that. You might want to see the room. <laughs> We filmed our initial reaction. I'm gonna insert it here because that is probably where you're gonna get the best vibe for how we vibed. Vibed. Bit confused. Ring bells. Okay. Yes. That's me ringing them. That's, that's you ringing yeah. them, yeah. First impressions. Um, the, car the carpet's nice. The carpet's nice. Other than that, it's not going very well. Oh, okay. Wait, this might be better. Wow, this is going to be a leg workout. Ooh. <laughs> no. Oh wow. my god. Well, they said <laughs> walk in wardrobe, but you also sleep in a hair. Oh, this has got a toilet. Oh my god, this could be the shortest video ever. Room tour, it's done. <laughs> Where are the lights? I don't know how to turn the light on. I've seen plain toilets bigger than that. You ready for a room tour? I'm gonna start facing this way because it'll be over in three, two, one. You ready? Dun, 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 da 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 Guys, this, oh my god, it's not even a room, it's a bed with like this much floor space and the door. So I compared it to a boat. I'm getting strong boat vibes. Yeah. I'm also getting like, Plane yeah, aeroplane vibe. Crossed with student accommodation. What's the, <laughs> what's the face for? It's like lipstick or something on the hanger. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody put their mouth around that? Each to their own. So I mean, clearly you can see all of our stuff is covering the bed because there's nowhere else to put it. There's no desk, there's no table, there's really just the floor, the bed, and the aeroplane toilet that New is modelling. But it does have a shower, if you could call it that. It's, um, no, probably don't touch it. We're joking. It is actually quite clean. Yeah, no, to be fair. Like, I've stayed in many worse. I, um, I said that as soon as I walked in, I was like, do you know what? Even though it's obviously tiny, I have stayed in miles like dirtier hostels yeah. and even dirtier hotels like grimy. Yeah, I mean this it doesn't feel like it grimy. doesn't feel like that at all. It actually feels really, really clean. It's just incredibly tiny. However, if you just need a bed for the night, especially if you were staying by yourself, I would stay here again. I'm gonna spin around, show you the other side. We've got new who doesn't know where to put herself because there's literally no room in here. Howl, we were unsure about whether or not this is a bath mat. I'm actually still unsure. I think it is because we do have a separate towel here. So is that the main towel? I do the one towel for two. Is yeah. <laughs> as a choice. Hygienic, very nice, very clean. Two uh, hanging mm -hmm. Hang Hangers. Hangers. What are they called? I don't know. Clothes hooks. Clothes hooks. Like where you put your coat, but yeah. it's okay because luckily, oh my god, imagine if you came in winter and you had like coat, hat, scarf. If you had a suitcase, did you say that already? Oh no, I didn't actually like, say if, that. Normally, because if you were staying here, you would bring a suitcase. Yeah, I packed well. And the only reason that I've done that, one, is because I actually broke my suitcase yesterday, so I don't have a suitcase. Oh, I saw that. Two, I am only coming down for the night and it's really warm, so I was like, I can fit like a change of top in that bag and some pajamas. So if I had a suitcase and a big coat, I don't know where I'd be going. Oh, you haven't shown them the best bit. Yeah, I know, that's so true. So guys, on the booking reference, it does say, comes with a flat screen TV, and I was like, ooh, you know, that's quite good. Um, great. Here it is, mounted in the top 
corner of the room. I don't even know why it's placed there. It's good for viewing from the boudoir. <laughs> Which is also the only place that you can sit. You haven't got another option. No. That is where you're watching the telly. Yeah, it's got a telly, it's got it's... a wardrobe. It, no, no, it doesn't have a wardrobe. <laughs> there's no, there's no wardrobe. And there's the clothes hooks. The clothes hooks. It's got a bathroom, so you're not sharing a bathroom. That is also good because I feel like at a lot of hostels you do share, don't you? 100%. So, so that's important to you. What I'm definitely going to say is if you wanted to go even cheaper than like £40 or £20 per person if you're sharing, Sharing, obviously you can stay in a hostel yeah however if you wanted to go a step up from that this is probably the best you're gonna get for this price like I just can't imagine it being any better no I forgot to add that we are on the very 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 top floor and we had to climb all of the stairs I'm very mad outside it's like 23 degrees so we were hot as it was we then climbed up the stairs I was like okay 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 we get in here and we're like oh thank goodness there's air conditioning are you ready to see the aircon unit? Are you ready? Here it is this is what I mean guys so I'm getting such strong boat vibes this is just cold air Whoa. Oh, the light didn't like that. Um, cold air being blasted out of a hole in the ceiling. So like, there is no aircon unit, it's just, what is that? Also, I did say to Nui that that gives me the vibe that that is the kind of place that they would put a camera down and spy on you in the night. Like, do you know what I think? And it like drops down and then like does that it's little swivel thing. I swear, when we slag something off in this room, the light, the light is up. like, no, I definitely, I think it could be worse. Like, so, so, so much worse. And obviously, you know, it's somewhere to stay, no, yeah. which is amazing. Easy Jet as a brand are like, well known and well respected. It's not yeah. as if it's like some dodgy brand that we've never heard of. Just gonna shine my torch up there though. That do just be the tube though. It <laughs> really do. <laughs> Now. Okay. We love it. We it's do. Lovely. When I thought about this video, I didn't really think about how short it was going to be. So what we're going to do now is go out for the evening, which is why I was in London to start off with. Going to film a little bit of that, bring you along, see what we get up to, and then when we come in after our night out, we'll reassess we'll how re we're feeling, re-review, re we'll re-review, we'll re-evaluate, and then. Um, um, the thing I like most actually about this room <laughs> is I love I love the window and the view. Oh, we haven't mentioned that. <laughs> That's my favourite bit. Yeah. So. <laughs> This is wall one, wall two, wall three if you could call it that, new, and wall four. Not one of them has a window, which is why it's so cheap. Like when you book it, you can pay like an extra 20 pounds to, to have get a window. window. Yeah. And you didn't splash out for us. No, because that wouldn't be the cheapest. That would be the second cheapest. Cancel. Yeah, we're just, we're just working with the prison cell vibe. At least, yeah, boats have windows. Boats do have windows, yeah, yeah. usually. Yeah. Hostels also have windows. Yeah. There's a window in the corridor. There is a window in the corridor. Yeah, window set. And actually, we're in a really beautiful area as well. Yeah. Like, we are in a really nice part of like Gloucester Road, South Kensington, all the houses outside here. Pang. So pang. This whole hotel is probably one person's house yeah. and it's just been crammed into like loads and loads of hotel rooms. But anyway, we're gonna go for dinner. We're gonna bring you along, see what happens in the rest of this video. It's gonna be a sham, but enjoy. New and I were just reading the things across the top and New was like, oh, it says food and drink. Do you think you can get room service? I was like, let me check. And then it's like, this hotel is situated for good culinary taste, meaning like, go out and get it yourself if you're not getting it from here. So this is what the outside of the room looks like. As I said, we're on the top floor. We're on 4.3. It's like we're on an easy jet plane, but it's just suddenly grown a hotel. We're currently waiting for an Uber. No, we're not. What are we waiting for? Bolt. Bolt. I just see you. There's a camera. That's good. Hi! Subscribe! What's out here? Look at those chairs out there. Really? Can you even fit out there? It says this door is alarmed. Hmm. Look. That's a no then. Alright, this is what I mean guys. It's like hidden. Well, it's not hidden. It's blaringly obvious. In the middle of just a normal like residential street in Kensington. So it's like really odd. All of these people are just looking out onto a literal easy jet hotel. But that's okay. Guys, look at how sick this restaurant is. We've come to the Jam on Kings Road by recommendation of New. You've been here before? No. No? Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm trusting you, but if you don't know, then I guess we're just going off first impressions. But look how sick it is. Basically, you like walk up the stairs. It's like a tree house. You have to climb up the stairs. And then there's booths up here, but obviously also booths down there. They've kind of been really clever in terms of like fitting a lot into a small space. I'm very, very excited. It is actually in Italian. This is a little look at the menu. They do like sourdough pizza. Pasta, risotto. Oh, we've also got this little mirror. Oh, this is cute. Love that. We're gonna get some wine as well because we are classy wine mums. Yes, we are. <laughs> look at us. Yeah, these look really good. Also, they are quite big glasses. I'm not mad about that though. I'm remembering where we have to sleep, and I'm thinking, you know what? It's fine. Look at this food, guys. I actually don't even really know what that is, but it looks great. <laughs> oh, this looks actually really good, and I'm really glad that it's not like whole chunks of broccoli because I did fear that it would be like broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Yum. Yeah, it looks really. Really, really good. Right, we've had some wine. We've popped back to the Easy Hotel and then we're going into more central London for cocktails. 
at the London Cocktail Club. Also, I'm walking up about four or five flights of stairs, so I'm very out of breath. But we've just popped back to the hotel. I'm gonna freshen up, take my sunglasses off. Oh my God, thank you. I'm very unfit. Also, why is there just an intense wave of air conditioning? Oh One trip above floor three. Lots of holes in the ceiling. The holy ceilings. Am I having a heart attack? I know, it's not that cold. Guys, what we have just got, it's just a toilet roll. What are we gonna do about that? Get a towel. <laughs> I've touched up my makeup a little bit and now we are gonna go and meet Jack Edwards potentially We're going out for uh, drinks at the London Cocktail Club on Shaftesbury Avenue. Have you been before? I haven't, have you? I haven't been before. I've heard good things. Yeah, like, it's been on my radar. It. Yeah, I've seen it on TikTok I think but also on Instagram and then when I googled like Classic. popular places to go that aren't super expensive it like was top. So we, we messaged Jack, we were like we're in London, do you want to meet for drinks? And he was like yes I do. So we sent our location and I think he's gonna come and meet us and then we also might meet up with some other people that we know. Bit of a rogue night, there's no real plan but the more drinks Maria, am I right? It's a Friday night. Can I wear the earrings? Yes, always. <laughs> Unsure about what's happening here, guys. It's about 4 a.m. All I can say is I'm really grateful it's like 4 a.m. because it means that there's less hours in the square bed. In um, the living room, kitchen, in the living room, dining room, balcony, drawing room, ballroom. That I will talk to you properly in the morning where we will review how the stay was because I guess that's kind of why you're watching. If you're gonna stay here, you're gonna want to know what it's like to stay here. Oh my god. <laughs> it is the next morning, guys. How did you sleep? Well, right? Actually, guys, the bed was really comfortable. The pillows are comfy. Yeah. It's a surprisingly quite a large bed. And I've... there were, what, four pillows, which yeah. I rake. Sometimes there's only one. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, that's just not a bit of me. No. I don't know if it's a normal double bed size or if it seems bigger because it's crammed against three walls. I think it's, like, pretty standard. Yeah, it felt quite big. But it did, yeah, it didn't feel ridiculous. No. I'll tell you what the issue was, and the, this was the issue I found, was that, like, I woke up and I just did not have a clue what time it was because there's no window, because there's no light source from anywhere it is literally like if i was really tired and you left me with no alarm i could probably sleep 24 hours yeah. in here because there's just nothing to like connect you to the outside world no and then when you do put the light on it's a lot of light it's a lot and also the bathroom light flickers <laughs> really badly as a review i would stay here again i genuinely think it's worth the money so would I. i'd use it again maybe not if you were trying to have like a nice weekend in london or like a nice evening in london but for convenience. How many locations do you think there are? One Victoria, one here. There's a few, no, there's more than that. The one Because if there's one in like, I wouldn't stay here. Like, yeah. Well, I'd live here, of course I would stay here. That was a stupid thing to say. If there was one like in a really cool location and you were like, all the hotels around here are normally mad expensive, uh -huh. I would I would say, or I'd recommend it to people, I'd be like, oh. Croydon, Shoreditch, Heathrow, Luton, Paddington, Victoria, South Kensington. I'm not too sure about other cities. Ooh, so they have airport ones. Oh, Which Manchester. I know there's one in Leeds. So they are nationwide, I just don't know how many cities nationwide they're in. If it's this cheap in London, it is only going to be cheaper in Manchester True. or Leeds. So it's literally ridiculous. I would recommend it to a friend if you're looking for a bargain hotel, but you still don't want like hostel vibe. We're going to head for breakfast. So I might actually bring you along, show you a little bit of what you can get up to in London. If you've stayed on a budget because you've got more money to spend because you were staying on a budget. <laughs> that was what I loved last night. I was like, do you know what? The hotel was so cheap. It cost me more to get here. And I spent more on drinks. But that's fine because the hotel was so cheap. Do I get another dance with me? No. <laughs> you missed an opportunity <laughs> there to be like, oh, we're leaving. Oh. I've thought about a really good thing staying here. It's so easy to check if you've left anything because you just obviously haven't because there's nowhere it could be. So that's a bonus. Goodbye, Easy Hotel. This was a true experience. Just really baffled by how much Uber Eats this guy, our next door neighbor, has ordered because that wasn't there when we got here yesterday. Also, where's he eating at? Oh, in the dining room slash kitchen. Oh. Slash drawing room. Oh, yeah. Let's go. When you're two completely different breakfast vibes, I've gone for like pink smoothie and pancakes. New has gone for dumplings and triple chips with a green drink. Although those chips look amazing, I might have to steal one. These look so good, guys. Bill's pancakes are just top tier. Goodbye, thank you for the weirdest night ever and staying with me. <laughs> See you soon. Guys, I am now back home. I realized I have not ended this video. I've also just blow dried my hair, so that's not a vibe. But this actually was a little bit different. I hope you have enjoyed it. I kind of want to do a part two where I stay in London's most expensive hotel. Obviously, that would be quite a big video. If that is something that you think you would like to watch, let me know down in the comments below. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And as I said at the beginning, huge shout out to my friend New for doing this with me. I will leave her socials linked below too, so you can check her out. And other than that, I should be back on my channel very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.